In this video, we'll create a full screen video landing page. So let's take a quick look at it before we get started. So as you can see, we have the cloud image in the background with a blue color overlay. Then if we scroll down a little bit, we're going to have some paragraph text underneath it. So over top of the video, we'll have a heading one, heading three, and a button where it says start here. So in order to get started with this tutorial, in the description of this video I've included these free starter files you can download including the clouds video, index.html, and style.css. I'm going to be using Sublime Text as my free text editor to work on this tutorial and then I'm going to have index.html open in Google Chrome as we're working on the tutorial. So if you're new to the channel here, please go ahead and subscribe and like the video and then we'll get started here. Okay, so as you can see inside of the starter files, we have a title, a link to our style.css sheet and a paragraph already laid out for us. So let's get started with our first tag. So for our first tag, we'll write section class wrapper and then you can drop down a line and we'll close out the section tag here and then inside of that we'll create a div class and we're going to call this video dash wrapper okay and then you can drop down and close out the div and then inside of this div we'll have our video referencing the clouds video that we saw in the fin finished version at the beginning so video source clouds dot mp4 and then we'll want it to play automatically so we'll write autoplay and then loop so it loops continuously and then we can close out our video tag okay so the next thing is let's drop down and create another div class and we'll call this div class overlay and then you can close out the div. So this is going to be the overlay blue color that goes on top of our clouds video to give it sort of a dark shade. So it's kind of a dark blue color. Alright, so the next thing that we'll do is lay out the section where we're going to add our headings and the button. So we'll create another div class and we'll call this landing dash text okay and then you can drop down and close out that div and inside of it we'll have an h1 or heading one where we'll write video landing page and then drop down and we'll have a heading three and we'll write full screen video background okay and then we can drop down and add our button so we'll write a href and we're not going to send the button anywhere right now but you can put your URL in here if you wish I'm just going to do the hashtag or pound symbol so it keeps us on this page and then we'll do class btn for button and I'm just going to write start here. Okay, so if we go over to the version we've been working on and refresh the page, we have our heading one, heading three, and the link there that later will turn into a button. All right, so let's move over to style.css. And the first thing that we'll style is the body of the HTML document itself. So we're just going to write body, open and close your brackets, and then font family. Montserrat, which is the Google font at the top of the page there. And then we'll change the color from black to sort of a dark gray, grayish blue. So it's 2D3E50. So now if we refresh, there we have our grayish blue color. Okay. So now let's drop down and the next thing that we'll style is the section tag here. So we'll write section, open and close your brackets, and then we'll give it a max width 
of 57%. And then margin auto and text align center. So this is going to give us a width and align our heading text as well as the button. So if we refresh, there we have our heading information centered on the page. All right, so the next thing that we'll style will be the wrapper class. So since that's a class, we'll start with the period rather than the hashtag with the IDs. And so we'll write dot wrapper. We'll give it a height of 100 VH. We'll say display flex and then align items center and color FFF. So this is going to vertically align our uh, heading information and it's going to give it the color of white. So it looks like I didn't save it here. Let me just save it and then I'll go back. Okay. Alright, so now we have it off to the right hand side. It's vertically aligned and we'll need to hover over it to find that our heading text has now turned white. Okay, so let's go back to our style sheet and drop down to video wrap. So dot video wrap for the class. So this is basically our video wrapper and then we give it a position of absolute and we want to send it all the way up to the top left of the browser. So we'll write top zero, left zero, and then if we refresh, we have it pushing all the way up to the top left but it's still going off the page. So we'll give it a width of 100%, a height of 100%, and now if we check it, it's going to fill up that space, but it's going off the page. So we'll write overflow hidden. Okay, so now we have it at 100% width, 100% height with nothing over, overflowing. So now let's drop down and the next thing that we'll do is we'll make a minimum width and minimum height for the video. In case your video is smaller than the than the browser's page. Okay, so video dash wrap and then video and we'll give it a minimum width of 100% and a minimum height of 100% of the screen. Okay, so now let's drop down and the next thing that we'll style will be our overlay class. So dot overlay and we'll want the blue overlay to be over top of the video with Z index 1, we'll give it a height and width of 100%. And then we also want it all the way up to the top left, so top and left 0. And then let's add our background color. So that's going to be the bluish gray 2D 3E 5 And now if we check it, we just have this blue section here. So what we'll also need to do is write position absolute. And similar to our video wrapper or video wrap, it's now going to take up the whole screen. And then we just need to add opacity 0.7 to make it clear th uh, see through. All right. So now we can drop down to our landing text. So we'll reference that with the landing text class and say dot landing dash text and we just want this to lay over top of our video and overlay so we'll write Z index 2. Okay and then we can drop down to our heading 1 style. All right, so for our heading one, let's change the font weight to 600. 
Then we'll change the font size to 380%. So that's going to be almost four times the original size. And let's enlarge the heading 3 text also. So we'll give it a font size of 230%. Font weight of 400. So 600 and 400, remember, are included with the Google font imported at the top of the style sheet. And now if we refresh, we have it looking pretty much like the original, but we need to close some space in between the heading 1 and the heading 3. So let's write margin top negative 4% rather than messing with the line height. And we'll give it a little padding on the bottom to separate it from the button. So let's give it padding bottom 3%. Okay, so now it's lining up pretty nicely like the original. And let's move on to giving our button the style. So we'll want to reference dot btn for the btn class. So we'll start with dot btn, open and close. And then first let's give it its text decoration, or rather take away its text decoration, so we can get rid of the underline there by saying text decoration none. Then we'll give it a color. So we're going to give it the color white, which the hex value for is FFF. And then we'll change the font size to 140 percent. Okay, and let's give it its background color. All right, so background blue hex value 2A, 8, 0, B, 9. And then let's also give it some padding. So I want to create some padding in between the text itself and the uh, outline of the, the background. So padding 2% top bottom, 3% left right. And then we'll just give it a border radius so it's not completely square with a border radius of 5 pixels. All right, so there we have our button completed. And the last thing that I'm going to do is simply give our paragraph text underneath the landing page a little bit more size and clean up the border. Okay, so we'll increase the size to 130%, and then let's just give it some padding around the edges of 3%. All right, so now if we refresh, it's looking just like the original here. I want to thank you for sticking around. Please remember to like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.